Good morning, and you're still watching NBS Breakfast Meeting. Good morning, and you're still watching NBS Breakfast Meeting. And uh, my second session today, uh, we're looking at the, the Institute for In the Institute for National Transformation (INT) and the Oxid uh, Oxid Oxid Association will be hosting uh, will be holding and hosting the Step Conference uh, in Uganda this year. The conference is running under the theme Governance and the Power of Systems. Uh, in studio with me, I have Dr. James Magara, uh, the Deputy Director General uh, of uh, INT. So every time I say INT, you just know it's the Institute for National Transformation. Uh, INT is National. Say hello to the viewers. Hello, viewers. Uh, good morning. Uh, alongside uh, him, we have the Executive Director, INT East Africa uh, Region, and Dr. Uh, the Vice President of the Oxide uh, Association. Okay. Yes, uh, you, you wanted the Vice President. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dr. Porfia Atukunda, nice to meet you and nice to f that you're on show. Say hello to the viewers. It's a pleasure to be here. Mm. Good morning, viewers. Mm. All right, um, let's just go into it. Uh, I'll start with uh, Dr. Magara. Uh, tell us more about uh, the Institute uh, of National Transformation. What is it all about? Mm. The Institute for National Transformation was uh, registered in 2005 in Nigeria mm. um, with uh, Professor Vincent Anegbogo, who appeared in the show a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the main goal was to raise uh, uh, awareness about the importance of leadership in every context, especially in the African context. And so its focus is to raise and equip leaders with, um, with the exceptional management skills, and uh, with understanding of what leadership really is. So that was the main driving force behind it. It was registered in 2005 in Nigeria, and then in 2008 it was registered in Uganda. So we've been involved in training uh, leaders who are involved in the private public space uh, to better, to equip them with, uh, with, the, uh, with the additional skills and abilities that would enable them to more effectively carry out the various um, uh, leadership uh, challenges and the opportunities that they have. So it's really mainly leadership based uh, training and equipping leaders. It's like an ongoing, you could have attend a, a course which is specifically for leadership. Many leaders actually don't have training in leadership. Yeah, That's yeah. the reality we have. True. Uh, one of the most important things in any society, in fact the, the most important ingredient is the leadership. But we have a situation where many people are thrust into leadership without uh, the skills that are needed because there, there are skills needed to be effective as a leader. Yeah. So that's a, that's the space that we've stepped into as the Institute for National Transformation. All right. Yeah. Uh, then uh, the Vice President uh, Oxid Association. Uh, what, uh, Dr. Abufio, what is Oxid Association for a person who never watched the first show? The Oxid Association steps from what James was talking mm -hmm. about. After the training from the Institute of National Transformation, we come out as no excuse leaders to go and transform our communities. But in order for us to do that effectively, we found the need to coalesce together mm. as a group, as an association, to enable us to network, to enable us to work together so that we can have greater impact. So the Oxid Association is a group of um, alumni that have studied from the Institute of National Transformation and want to go forth and have an impact on the communities that they are operating in. Uh, Dr. Magara, mm -hmm. tell us about the STEP conference, the reason why we're here today. When is it starting and where will it be? So the STEP conference um, for this year will be held, well, Uganda is hosting. One thing I didn't mention earlier mm. is that um, the training started in Nigeria and is still ongoing in Nigeria. Uganda, we've been running from since 2008. Um, but there are other African countries. There are people from uh, Rwanda, from uh, Kenya, uh, from South Africa. And then there is uh, international diaspora as well, from the United Kingdom, from the United States. So this is uh, actually a, a, a global kind of training thing, which is really mainly focusing on Africans and Africans in the diaspora. So it was decided uh, to begin, after some years of training, to begin having uh, an event which brings together the various alumni. Uh, to, to, to network, uh, maybe to also address uh, particular themes you know, in, a, in, a, in a super arching way. Yeah. Uh, Uganda hosted the conference in 2019. We hosted it here in the Steel Hotel, and the focus of that, education was, uh, that conference was education and African futures. 
which was a, a gathering that brought together, we partnered with the Ministry of Education, so brought together people in the, in the education ecosystem. Uh, so this year, Uganda is hosting again. Last year it was hosted in Nigeria. This year we are hosting again this conference in Speak Resort, uh, Munyonyo. Munyonyo, yeah. Uh, yeah, starting from uh, Tuesday, 28th, that's when it opens. Uh, yeah. The guests have already begun arriving. Meaning next week. Uh, next week, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And it goes on up to, mm -hmm. up to Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the focus, as, as, uh, as you already mentioned, the theme is exploring in depth the whole question of how systems affect governance. Yeah. Yeah. So... I hope I've answered the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Dr. Porfia, what inspired the creation of uh, the STEP conference and how does it cater specifically to the African leaders? James has briefly touched on it, but to, to take it yeah. further, we would want to bring together leaders mm. that are out there influencing different sectors to be able to come together and mm. learn from each other. Mm to be able to come together and in, interact with each other, share their experiences, download their knowledge, mm -hmm. so that we can all gather knowledge from each other and go out and influence our communities. Mm -hmm. In order to be able to do that, we felt the need to host the STEP conference. Having seen what it has done in different nations, for example in Nigeria, what was discussed and the impact that came out, we felt that in Uganda as well, if we hosted the STEP conference, we would be able to bring in people from the government, people from the civil society, from the private sector, all sectors to come and learn mm -hmm. from each other. How do we use the governance systems to be able to be more effective? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dr. <coughs> Magara, we have had in the past, and they still continue, many leadership conferences. Mm -hmm. How different is the STEP conference? Well, uh, one, for in terms of the attendance, you already have a p group of people who are, have a, uh, a unifying mindset. Yeah. So it's you're not bringing together very disparate, uh, like mm. a very um, diverse. Word, diverse yeah. Yes. Well, they are diverse, but uh, the mindset is already focused. So you already mm. have people who are who already have a base. But the, the conference itself is open to the public as well. It's not only linked to the alumni. Mm. Um, and then we also want to take this matter in depth. Uh, in, uh, so we're looking at governance and systems. We'll, we'll describe what systems are, mm. but we'll take it deeper to understand not only the theoretical basis, mm. uh, but we'll be looking at uh, different themes uh, during the week, uh, the foundations and then um, how they operate. We also want in the conference to draw from local examples because there's very good examples locally of where systems are working yeah. <coughs> and the transformation they've made, for example, with the, the whole passport system, you know. Mm. Uh, on the, um, maybe the national driver's license and things like that. So we'll have some guests who come in to, to give us the practical side of things. So it, it, is, it is one where you will step into a moving stream, if I may put it that way. Mm -hmm. If you have a conference that uh, is set up that brings people who have not been in the same train of thought, you have to, to almost warm up to step in it. But here you're having people who, you, you, you'll be stepping into a moving train, let's put it that way. Yeah. So already there's a momentum. That, uh, that carries you along as you get into the discussions. Yeah. Um, Dr. Pofia, speaking of attending, mm -hmm. who should attend? You, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> we are hoping that you will be there. I will be there. Okay, mm -hmm. in addition to you, yeah, addition we to expect mm -hmm. uh, different sectors to come in. Yeah. We've talked about government, those who are working in the ministries. We are talking about the private sector, mm -hmm those who are manufacturing, those who are trading. We are talking about uh, civil society, mm -hmm. those who are out there to influence communities, but who are already within the transformational mindset. Yeah. Who want to add on to that, to know how to link with each other in different sectors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Magar, I know you talked about this, but uh, why should Ugandans and East African leaders prioritize attending to this conference? It's because systems, if we, if we analyze the world we live in, the world is created to operate on systems. Um, and this was really discovered about 100 years ago when people began to realize that, you know, things work systemically. If you look at, you know, well, it was known, for example, if you look at just creation, you look at the... The, the, the way the day, the night goes. It, it, it is because we, we, all, we, we are very predictable because we, 
We know the sun will rise and set at a certain time. Uh, we don't have to sit down and discuss whether yeah, that will happen or not. It's it's exactly. Now, what has been discovered also mm. is that for things to work effectively, mm. um, it's best when they operate in systems. And this was the foundation of the whole um, advance of the computer industry. Because it, uh, about 100 years ago, when this was understood, then the whole systems theory began to be established. And now, it's been found that not only in things like uh, equipment, machines, and all that, it's even in, in the area of governance. Yeah. The most e effective governance structures are the ones that operate in systems. Yeah. So we need to understand, it's important for us to understand, as we want to pull out of the different doldrums we're in, uh, to have a, an understanding from a leadership and management perspective. How do you establish and maintain systems? Because when they are operating, uh, like, you know, uh, the creator stepped away from the, from the creation because it, it now operates in systems. You know, the, the, the day, night, month, year, seasons. We don't experience so much seasons here in, yeah. the, in the equator. Everything is cyclic. So when, when a business or when a, a governance situation is operating in a systemic way, it is very effective. And so this is, a, this is an important um, topic for any leader to understand. Yeah, and that's one reason why I uh, would want people to come and understand this, because there is a way to approaching it. Yeah. It's not just automatic, there is a way to approaching it. It's yeah. a system. It's a system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, who are the key uh, speakers and facilitators for the day? Well, we have uh, as uh, one of the key speakers is uh, Dr. Kevin Urama, mm -hmm. who is the Vice President of uh, uh, Institute of Development in the, at the Africa Development Bank. Yeah. He'll be here, and then uh, our uh, chief host will be the, uh, one of the special hosts. Would be the or guest of honor would be the the minister for science, technology, and innovation, who has <laughs> who's understood the whole th area of systems as well. Our honourable yeah. Dr. Monica Musino. science and yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 and then we have other speakers, uh, both local inter and internationally. Uh, we have uh, from the United States. We have uh, Dr. Mark Belilis. Mm. Uh, who is the uh, uh, president of uh, the Global Transformation Network, and then a lady called Dr. Catherine Gallagher from California. She's, um, she, she's the CEO of Peak, Peak Performance. Um, there's another gentleman called uh, Dr. Mike uh, Debier, who is uh, a certified trainer with um, return on investment Return on the business, business side, we'll speak on the yeah. business side. Yeah. Uh, Professor Vincent Alekbuku was on this uh, uh, meeting. He was yeah. one of the keynote speakers. Uh, locally, we have or the, well, another visitor, another speaker from Nigeria will be um, Dr. Philip Igbin Jesu, who is also a leadership uh, uh, consultant. And then uh, locally, we have, um, um, well, I'll also be speaking in the conference. Uh, yeah. uh, we the have Dr. Marcus. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we have a, a wide range yeah, of speakers. You, you uh, can't uh, yeah, people who are, who are you know, acclaimed in their fields. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, we'll also have uh, people speaking from government um, mm -hmm. places that you know have uh, are actually thriving because of of uh, instituting, instituting a systemic approach to solving the problems. The, the, the you mentioned something I didn't mention earlier. You know, the the because uh, things are systemic, even the challenges we face are part of systems. Every leadership challenge that we face in any sphere of leadership, there's a systemic angle to it. And if you try to solve the problem by just going at the problem, often you find that you solve one problem, you may create another, mm. because you've not understood how the linkages. The system works. Yeah, so that's, uh, I will be looking at, at studying systems, understand how do we analyze systems, understand how they work. Sometimes you may have a very big problem, and the solution is very simple, because you've understood the systemic approach and an intervention in another area, which we call the leverage point. Uh, can actually solve the problem without going at it directly. So these are some of the things we are looking at yeah. in this conference. And uh, any leader will find this extremely beneficial. Yeah, uh, going back to Dr. Pofia, mm. what are some of the key themes that we have or topics that we're going to talk about that a person who's planning to attend can look forward to? We are looking at uh, the foundations of critical thinking. We are looking at uh, networking, how systems work and interact with each other like uh, Dr. Magara was saying here we have to look as we operate we have to think beyond our own small systems and start thinking of how we are placed in a bigger network so knowing what are the enablers what are the hindrances to our governance systems how they operate 
the other topics James can mm. chip in? So we'll also look at the whole question of partnerships and networking. Mm. Uh, that will be a very key thing because uh, um, when you look at uh, governance at a broader area, you can't work in isolation. No. So how, how networks are formed, uh, leveraging network, creating networks, um, and uh, yeah, so those, are, so those are some of the broad themes for the, for the uh, we'll be, how every day we'll have a theme around it. How, what can uh, someone expect to walk away with when they attend this conference? Well, they will have at least a high level understanding. Uh, the whole area of systems thinking, systems dyna dynamics is fairly new in leadership. It's not something you'll find in older leadership schools. Mm -hmm. I've been privileged to have gone through, you know, a training at doctorate level in this. And so it's a very huge topic. Um, and you can't get everything at once. Actually, it's been said that learning to operate in systems is like learning a new language, you know, learning Chinese or it, it, you don't get it, you don't get it in one conference. There's a saying that uh, a certain company works this way, so if you cannot fit into the system, you will yeah. be bound to fit. Well, that is one aspect of it. Uh, but the key thing is that learning to operate in systems is not something you just pick up from a conference. But yeah. once you have got the gist of it, mm -hmm. then you can take a deep dive. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we will do, uh, like next year, is to operate a whole workshop because there are certain details into it. But uh, I trust that everyone who attends the sessions of the conference will get some answers to some of the challenges that they already face in their own leadership situation. Uh, and then they'll also learn. Sometimes you don't, you don't solve a problem because you're unaware. But once you become aware, then you can now seek for help, need for mm. help. So it will, for, for at least at the best line, every person attending will have a good um, you know, helicopter view of, uh, of the topic and will be able to uh, also identify where they need help uh, and, and be able to be pointed where they can get expertise yeah. to help them. To Maybe to add on briefly, yes. we, we all operate in systems, but uh, we are not aware. Mm -hmm. So the STEP conference will be able to raise awareness, yes. to impart knowledge, mm -hmm. and to open up networks. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people who are going to be there. Yeah. So once you come in, you're very sure that I'm going to get linkages in different areas, mm -hmm. in addition to having knowledge downloaded in me mm -hmm. and an awareness raising coming up, mm -hmm. it is a good thing. Yeah, speaking of linkages, because most people are interested in that, mm -hmm. and they will, of course, pick up on a lot. How can one register? We have a website mm. that is open and operating. Mm. If you type in step oxid, mm. you'll be able to, to identify it and click on immediately mm. you will see how to register. But still you can reach out to me mm. on my phone 0702 mm. okay. I'll be able to give you guidance on how you come, come on board. All right. Yeah. Is it expensive? Because people are going to think, is it expensive? How do I join? Is, is it only for leaders? Considering <laughs> the treasure that is there waiting for yeah. us, it is not expensive. Yeah. Because for an Oxid Ugandan, you can register yeah. for only $100. Yeah. If you are not an Oxid, only $250. Yeah. You can also register to come in online mm. so it is not expensive at all uh -huh. considering mm. that it's also running for an entire week yeah. that comes in quite cheap mm. for for the kind of business uh, most of these business conferences cost uh, some of them can go over a thousand dollars for the for the for the treasure you're going to get in there yes. so it's um, all right yeah. um any last words uh, for uh, the people who are there watching you well, we'll just invite uh, people to register, to be part of this uh, gathering, um, and uh, to, 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 to take advantage of the expertise that is available, uh, and also the opportunities, as has been mentioned by Apofia, for networking and uh, you know, creating linkages. Yeah. So please visit the website, as has been mentioned, Step Oxid, and, uh, and register, and let's join together next week. All right, mm -hmm. Dr. Apofia, uh, any last message? But then also you can repeat the number again so the person who may not see the, uh, hear the number, they can be able to. We are waiting for you mm -hmm. next week, starting on Tuesday. We have a treasure package for you, which you do not want to miss. Please reach out to me on 0702 mm -hmm. I'll be able to guide you on how you can register and give you even more information on what awaits for you next week. You're welcome.
All right, thank you very much for coming to the show. Thank and if you, you are a leader out there, remember, it's time bound. It's next week on the 28th to the 2nd of November. So it's a full week, so you just plan your week right now so you can actually attend the conference. I'll be taking a short break. When I return, I return with some influencer marketing, and I have two crazy people with me.